Good afternoon, I'm Margaret McEwen, judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, but my passion and the reason that we're here is the rule of law. So I invite you to start your lunch and keep eating during the program. We'll just continue so that we can get everyone back to the House of Delegates on time. Today we're coming together to celebrate the rule of law, to grapple together with the daunting challenges we face in realizing this ideal, and also to celebrate some extraordinary volunteers and contributions they've made toward our cause. Let me begin by recognizing a very special group of volunteers, and that is the members of the ABA Rolly Board and members of our regional council. So if I could ask you to stand. They spend countless hours making our many programs in 50 countries possible. Also, a particular thank you to our host committee, Dean Danel Taha of Pepperdine, also a member of the Rolly Board, Lou Pritchard of Helsel Fetterman of Seattle, and longtime liaison to our board from the ABA Center on Human Rights, and also to Laura Stein of Clorox Corporation, who has, like many others, been a member of our board and was also chair of our Asia Council. They and their energetic committee put together this program and really have helped make this a sellout event for us and one of our biggest events that we've had here with Rowley. I also would like to thank all of our sponsors, especially the Rule of Law Champion sponsor, the World Justice Project, and Bill Newcomb, its chair and also former president of the ABA. We also have a number of representatives here from foreign bars and I would also like to thank you for coming such a long ways and for being here at our lunch. So let me begin with giving you the opportunity to hear from someone who's been a longtime champion of rule of law and particularly in this last year has endlessly traveled the globe and dealt with many issues our president, Paulette Brown. <laughs> 